So now I'm back in the Git repository exploring perspective. By the way, before we um, configure our username and um, email, uh, I want to do something really quick. I want to show you how to switch perspectives rather, fa uh, rather quickly. Um, if I want to switch perspectives, one way to do that is to go to Window, Open Perspective, and then find the appropriate perspective. Like I can go to the Java perspective, right? Um, and if I want to go back into the Git repository perspective, I can go to Window, Open Perspective, and then Other, and then select Git Repository Exploring, and click OK. That's one way to switch perspectives. Another way in Eclipse is if we, so over here, this is actually, it's, it's kind of hidden here, but I can uh, drag this over, and voila, I have uh, a list of perspectives here. So I can go between Java and Git repository, pers uh, perspe uh, Git repository exploring perspectives. So there we go. That's how I can switch between perspectives rather quickly. Um, it's a nice way of switching perspectives. Okay. So, um, so by the way, so I'm gonna over here um, in the Git repositories perspectives. I want to. Um, click on any repository, it doesn't really matter which repository, but I want to click on, on a repository, and I'm going to go over to the properties view, you should see this, if you don't, um, you can get there by saying uh, open properties, oh, yeah, excuse me, you can right click over here, and say open properties view, and that's this guy right here, so I think by default it says repository configuration, I'm going to change this, I'm going to go to global configuration and I'm going to um, select uh, which one yeah this one over here select edit and I need to make a new entry I'm going to say user dot name and I'm going to make that my name I also want to add another entry, so new entry. It's going to be user dot email. I'm just going to put my email address. So okay. So user dot email your email address. Click OK. And then I'm going to click OK. So by the way, just going back, so it should look like this. Um, your email address here, your name here. So that's that. So that's what you should see under global configuration. Okay. So now you've set your username and email. This is a one-time configuration thing. 